my name is Isaiah Tafoya, born and raised right here in Cheyenne, Wyoming, more specifically South Cheyenne. Um, I've grown up on the south side of Cheyenne my whole life, went to school in this neighborhood. Um, a lot of my family lives in this neighborhood as well, and now I'm part of a boxing club that's in my neighborhood, so I'm pretty happy about that. I had an older cousin that boxed, uh, George Garcia. He's one of our coaches right now. He teaches our beginners boxing class. Had a couple other family members that box as well. But um, it started with my dad taking me to my cousin's boxing matches, his amateur bouts. That's all I thought about as a little kid, you know, always becoming an amateur and then transitioning into the professional ranks. I just knew because he, when he was little, he, he watched boxing all the time. He'd, he'd watch all the greats, he'd, have, he'd flip the channels and if boxing came on, he'd sit there and watch at a young age. Then he'd get up and mimic them. He'd get up and shadow box like them. He, I had this <laughs> wall in my house that was worn out from him punching it. I mean, you could, he busted the sheetrock off it just from his little hands hitting it so many times. And, but like he mimicked every boxer, he wanted to be just like him, so he watched a lot of boxing. And when I took him to shows, he wasn't one of those kids that ran around and <clears throat> excuse me, ran around and played. He was one that sat down and learned from it. Or even sparring in the gym, he was always watching and always taking it, taking it in all the time. But that's how it started. And then I met Ray Montoya, my coach right now, a coach that passed away, or coach Tomas Pacheco. He was one of my first coaches as well at the Cheyenne Boxing Club. And those two started me off with my amateur boxing career. And uh, later on, his sons, Vincent Montoya, Gabriel Montoya, and now Matt Manzanares, and my dad, Dominic Tafoya, you know, they've, they've all played a role in my boxing career as, as coaches. I think Isaiah's taken the right step. He did so many years as the amateur, and, this, and I always want to wait until you're 21, 22 years old to do it, because you're a young man. And I think it's, a, it's time, he's a smart kid. This is his life. This is what he grew up doing from eight years old, and before that, but started boxing at eight. And it, in your own mind is when you're ready to say, okay, it's time to, because that's when it changes from a sport to a job, you know? So he's taking that mentality. It's a, not a sport, it's a job now. That's the difference, you know? Been boxing amateur for 13 years now. I've fought all over the country. Um, traveled all over, met a lot of new people because of boxing. Um, I have close to probably about 100 amateur bouts. I think having a strong team behind me has always been a, one of my best attributes, um, one of my, my strengths. Um, I think my ring IQ, I think of my, because of my team and, and their knowledge of the game and, you know, giving their knowledge to me and passing it down, um, I've been successful that way. So I've known Isaiah for a very long time now. Um, when I started training with Isaiah, he's still in amateur boxing. And I just wanted to, you know, be around them type of people that are looking to pursue their dreams. And, and I wanted to help him reach his goals. Uh, we've had a, a very good relationship so far. I think this is just the start of what is going to come. I think he has a very bright future ahead of him and I'm just blessed to be along the way. I'm earning my bachelor's degree right now uh, from the University of Wyoming. While I'm earning my degree I just wanted to continue to box amateur and try to make it to the 2020 Olympics in uh, Tokyo, Japan. But the more I've evolved in this amateur boxing game I've realized that my style is not of the amateurs and the style that amateur judges look for. My style is more of a professional and it's always been that way. And that's kind of what just led me to the, to the decision to turn pro. Um, I've always had people asking me, when are you turning pro, this and that. And you know, I just tell them, you know, when the time is right, I'll, I'll let it happen. But um, you know, I just had an epiphany one day. You know, I woke up and I just felt you know, I was just not wasting my time in, time in the amateurs, but just knowing what I was capable of doing and knowing that I'm capable of making some noise in the professional ranks. Me and my team are gonna, you know, try to talk with promoters and local promoters first, and you know, other friends that we have in the bo professional boxing world, and and try to make some moves from there. You know, I want to try to make my my pro debut 
within the first quarter of 2019, you know, I fight for my family. I fight for my team, my coaches. And not because, I, you know, that they, they're pushing me to fight for them. It's because of my love that I have for them. I fight for my neighborhood. I fight for my city. You know, I want to put Cheyenne on the map for boxing. I want to let it be known that we have talent in this city, in this gym with boxing. And that's one reason I fight is to make a name for myself, you know, to make my family proud, to make my team proud, and to make the city proud and make all the people, all of my supporters that have been behind me since day one, since I've been a little kid. And, you know, I want to make them proud and, you know, let them know that all their support was not just for nothing, you know, that we're going to the top.